Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and as we now know that uh, September is when 22H2 will be released. We uh, also have had some new f information about how the updates are going to happen next year. So 22H2, uh, which is Sun Valley 2, is the next version of Windows 11. That version of Windows 11 is coming in September for everybody, uh, but it is being tested right now in the Insider Preview Rings. Um, next year, so there was supposed to be a, th a, um, a second update to Windows 11, which would be called Sun Valley 3, and that would have been in the second half of 2023. But Microsoft changed its plans and changed the fact that uh, it didn't want to have the uh, the updates the way they were anymore. They actually kind of scrapped Sun Valley 3, but not totally, and you'll see why. But it's not a thing officially anymore, so there's not going to be a major update to Windows 11 next year. And um, that's in preparation maybe for something else called Windows 12, maybe, in 2024. But Windows 11 will have what Microsoft now calls moments. What are moments? Well, there are a bunch of features that will actually happen regularly on Windows 11 22H2. In reality, you'll kind of get every new feature that Sun Valley 3 was supposed to have, but you'll get them in moments or in, you know, cumulative updates that will appear regularly throughout the year which means next year you'll have a bunch of new features and a bunch of little updates that bring new features and upgrade uh, features, change things around, and maybe upgrade Windows 11 to uh, something that people will enjoy a little more. And so Microsoft, like I said, calls them moments. So we'll have several moments in 2023 that will bring those new features. Now, this is probably why in the insider rings, because we didn't have an explanation of a couple of weeks ago of why the Windows 11 and the beta channel was split in two different channels. It was not logical considering that we would be getting 22H2 in the fall to split the beta channel. This would explain the split and the beta channel. So if you're on 22621, um, you are getting 22H2 and you might want to move yourself to the release preview, by the way, to avoid the possibility of getting moved to 22622. Those on 22622 actually are probably going to be the ones testing all of these new features that will be the moments of 2023. So at some point, 22621 will be the main operating system for Windows 11, 22H2 in September. And 22622 will be left in the beta channel for testing new features that will be pushed throughout the year next year to the insiders, to, to regular users of Windows 11. So that's kind of where we are. That's kind of what we understand now. And it explains why the split in the beta channel, which I just couldn't understand why they had done that in just a few months before Windows 11 22H2 official release. But now it's kind of logical and ex explains a lot of things. So lots of moments coming up next year with new features in Windows 11, but no big feature update in the second half of next year. That won't happen. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.